Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to make a pie crust you can use with any sweet or savory pie. But before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer. Holy Father, you are my heart's desire. I pray to worship you every day, not just my words, but with my life. May it be holy and acceptable living sacrifice to you. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I pray. Amen. Amen. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Alright y'all, this is how we're going to make the pie crust. And I have 12 tablespoons of butter here. And I have two tablespoons of shortening. This is coconut oil, but you can use a uh, regular shortening, two tablespoons, either shortening or coconut oil. I have, uh, we have one cup of water and we're going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar or white vinegar to the water. I have salt. I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt, sugar. We're going to use one tablespoon of sugar. And you guys, this is the all-purpose flour. So we're going to use uh, three and a half because I need to make three pies. So I'm going to use three and a half cups of flour. So let's get started. To start, we need three and a half cups of flour. You know, put that over in our... You could do this by hand or you can use a, a food processor. So use a tablespoon of sugar, tablespoon of sugar. We're going to use a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix to get that, mix that up. Then we're going to use our apple cider vinegar. We're going to add this to our cold water. butter then we're going to give that a quick mix We're going to take our shortening. We're going to break it up in little pieces.
we have everything all mixed and incorporated. We're going to check our consistency of the flour. See, everything's all mixed up. A few little pieces of butter. So now... Check our consistency. Alrighty, everybody, we have finished making our crust. I am putting a little bit of flour on the surface so we can roll out this dough. It will look a little like wet sand, but if you do get some areas where there is like a white marbling or, you know, like flour, don't worry about it. And uh, don't add any more water unless your crust just really, really dry. And just smush it all together. You don't have to overwork the dough. Just smush it all together. Mix all the uh, dry pieces in with the moisture pieces because when the dough rests in the refrigerator overnight or a couple of hours, however you uh, plan on uh, processing it, when you're going to use it, at least let it be in the refrigerator, at least in the refrigerator for at least about 45 minutes you know so the gluten everything can settle and the uh butter can get cold again and then um you can bring it out and roll out your pie dough but this will be the last recipe you will ever need whether you're making a savory pie or a sweet pie this is a really really good recipe to try and it's easy to make you know the holidays are coming up and i'm filming this video uh right before uh thanksgiving and it's october the end of october and you guys if you never made a pie before won't you try this recipe you know and see if you like it you know i always uh try new things and i always try different recipes to see what tastes good and you guys i get this an a plus 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 this is really really good pie dough you know uh next week i am making chicken pot pie so y'all be on the lookout for the uh, homemade chicken pot pie and one thing about it i am gonna use this same pie dough crust with this recipe you try one time y'all it's so flavorful so flaky so good you would never ever think about even using another pie dough recipe because you know why this one gonna work for you and i am just so amazed at this dough you know uh how good it tastes so y'all Put it in a saran wrap. And what I do is when I put in saran wrap, I flatten it out some, you know, the kind, because when it be sitting in the refrigerator, it get extremely, extremely hard, you know, because of the butter and the uh, shortening or the coconut oil that you add in it. So I just uh, press it out a little bit into a, a kind of like an oval round shape and uh, cover it up real tightly with some saran wrap and uh press it down so when you do get it out the roll your pie crust it won't be as stiff 
you know, as stiff and hard. So, yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, cutting this dough up because I'm going to use this dough for three different pies. And you guys stay tuned for the next video uh, to see how I made the peach cobbler. And also the pecan pie video is coming up. Y'all, if you never made pies before, follow along with me. And I will show you how to make some delicious pies, even with this delicious pie crust, y'all. We're going to make delicious pies to go in this delicious pie crust. So, y'all, check out my videos next week. And uh, leave me a comment if you uh, tried this crust and uh, you plan on making it yourself. You know, leave me a comment. Let me know how did it taste. What you, you know, give me your honest opinion you know, uh, make it and see how it turned out. Did you like it? And uh, give me a thumbs up if you did like it, but leave me a comment if you made it. look at all the light brown eggs i have received from my chickens i just wanted to show y'all that <laughs> Look at our pie. It is so delicious and flaky. So guys, I am getting ready to fill this pie up with some kind of pie today. I am poking holes in it so it can breathe a little bit, you know, vent out a little bit and won't the pie, the pie won't like uh, blow up in the middle, you know, get all puffy and stuff. But this is our pie crust, you guys. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the next one.